Eric Starko maintaining a precisely aligned uh, matchup of the two docking ports, keeping it within a tolerance of three inches, now within 15 feet of the International Space Station. Atlanta is now 10 feet away from the International Space Station. Line is now five feet from the space station. ISS and Houston, from Atlantis, capture confirmed. Station copy. Docking confirmed at 2.36 p.m. Central Time, 3.36 p.m. Eastern. Station, free drift confirmed. Copy that. Copy, Houston, thanks. Preliminary latches automatically attach the two spacecraft, and then Atlantis is now in a free drift. Uh, the shuttle's uh, steering jets are deactivated to reduce the forces acting at the docking interface of the two vehicles. Shock absorber springs in the docking mechanism will dampen any relative motion between the two vehicles, the shuttle and the station. And once that uh, motion has been stopped, the docking ring will be retracted to close a final set of latches between the Spatial Atlantis and the International Space Station. This is Mission Control Houston with a view of the docking interface between the Space Shuttle Atlantis on the left and the International Space Station on the right. The Mechanical Maintenance and Crew Systems Officer here in the Space Shuttle Flight Control Room reports all uh, relative motion has been dampened out uh, between the two vehicles and the crew inside the Space Shuttle Atlantis is working through the procedure to retract the docking ring.
that uh, retraction will close the final set of latches between the two spacecraft. The docking ring as part of the orbiter docking system is being retracted from the Space Shuttle Atlantis to, to provide the uh, final latching between the two spacecraft. The mechanical maintenance and crew systems officer here in Mission Control reports that the final hooks are driving closed within the orbiter docking system.